Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really sorry for the lack of videos lately. I have been on a little break in Melbourne for quite a few days, so just over a week, and I haven't really been able to get around to uploading any videos at all, so uh, I thought I would do this one finally because it was a request from, I think, about a month ago actually, and it was how to add texture to uh, skin tones or skin in uh, Photoshop. So I do have a Quite a few little points here that I'm just going to mention and it's probably the easier way to go about doing it um, and it's just a way that I like to do it there's lots of ways that that you can do this um, as always you know like everything that I do is pretty much just in my own way and a lot of the times that when I do things you know it is actually the long way around so if you find an easier way to do it definitely let me know but this is generally just the way I like to do things so to add texture to skin tones, I would really stress the point that if you've got a photograph with quite a bit of texture in it already and, then it, and that it is sharp, um, that will always be a really good starting point. Having a sharp photo will be, you know, the best base um, for this to really work. Uh, but actually today I've kind of got a photo that's not probably as sharp as it can be uh, so and I think you you know there is a little bit of texture in the image but you can probably add quite a bit more to this so I thought I would use this image here and I recently took this in Melbourne so we're gonna just start off by duplicating the background layer so just dragging that into the new layer button and now that we've got our our duplicate we're just going to get the selection tool up here the lasso lasso so I have no idea how to pronounce that, but anyway, um, I've never known how to pronounce that, but I'm just going to select just her face. Um, obviously, you can do this on the whole body, um, but I'm just going to focus on her face. And as you can see up the top, just on feather, I've got it at 20 pixels, so um, 20 should be fine for this. But I'm just going to... Select this area here. Doesn't need to be perfect. As you can see, it's selected here. So this button here will actually add to the selection and it will allow you to um, deselect areas that you don't want to have the texture added to. So I'm just going to go around to the eyebrows. I think probably just in a little bit in there as well. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to select the eye and the other eye. Actually, that whole area is kind of a little bit more or less in focus, so I'm probably going to select that. And then I'm just going to do the base of the nose and the lips. Because we mainly just want to focus on getting skin texture at the moment. And I think I'm probably just going to deselect her ear too because that's, that's a little bit out of focus. So, Alright, so now we've got our selection. What we're going to do is go filter, noise, add noise. And I'd probably say this is a good amount of noise, maybe a little bit more, about 20, maybe about 20. Just going to type that in. And make sure it's selected as uniform. So I'm just going to press OK now. And then we're going to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I think two pixels is really good for this. Um, it's blurred it a little bit, so it's not so um, speckledy, I guess, um, if that's a word. But yeah, you can still see that there's a bit of grain there. So I'm just going to click OK. And now I'm going to go filter, sharpen, and smart sharpen. As I said, this is just a really easy way of doing things, but I'm just going to play around with these sliders here and see how we go. So as you can see, the radius is really giving it more depth, um, but we don't want that up too high. Just enough so you know it's noticeable. And I think I'm pretty happy with that actually. So I'm just going to click OK. And then I'm going to change the opacity just to around where I think it might look a little bit softer. So I'm just going to show you guys what that looks like now with the grain. 
So there's like a big difference there. Um, I might just bring it up a little bit more to about 60, 68. Okay, and I'm just going to take a snapshot and deselect and take another snapshot. So yeah, if you guys have watched my videos before, you know I like to take quite a few snapshots as I go along, just so I've got kind of points where I can go back and refer to what I've already done and if I want to change anything, it makes it a lot easier. Okay, so that's basically our texture. That's the before, that's the after. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Before, after. So, obviously from a distance you may need to make the grain a little bit more um, noticeable so you might have to change the blur or you know the, the grain size or whatever you need to do to make it more noticeable but I'm just going to tidy up some of the areas so it does look a little bit too textured up the top here so what I'm going to do is get the uh, history brush tool and I'm going to change the opacity to around probably about 20% 21% and I'm just going to run it over that area there. It's just so it softens it a little bit more. Because in some places it is going to look a bit silly if you've just kind of got grain all of a sudden. And it's going to just look a bit funny. So I'm just going to tidy up the edges a bit and make it a little bit more softer around those areas. The neck does look a bit too grainy. So I'm just going to run that over there. Probably change the opacity up to about 50. So as you can see, that's just starting to make it look a little bit better and just around this area here okay and probably just even up here as well a little bit just to make it a bit softer all right so I think I'm pretty much finished uh, you can pretty much go on you know as much as you like with trying to get more texture and and it can take you quite a bit of time sometimes to um, to work into the photograph but I'm just going to show you guys before so this is the before and that's the after and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit further okay so this is the before and that's the after Alright guys, well thank you very much for watching once again. Um, I'm hoping to have some more videos up soon. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and yeah, once again I'm very sorry for not posting a lot lately. I have been on a little bit of a break and hope to get some more tutorials up soon. Please let me know if you have any other requests as usual. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!